Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to show you how to connect to so connect from Windows machine to your mobile device mobile device using SSH client. So for connecting this, uh, you need uh, one SSH server to be installed on your mobile. So in front of me, I've uh, uh, used. I'm using Google Play uh, where I am installing this SSH. I have used this SSH server uh, which is from some ice cold apps and uh, built this SSH server. So I have installed this SSH, SSH server here. So this is my SSH server in which I have uh, created one SSH um, server. So I'm going to show you. I'm just stopping this one. I will not create a, you can add this one from this add button, but I will just edit it and show you what are the configuration of this. So this is the settings, uh, all you need to remember, this is super Android, this is the name of the server and you may don't need to remember this one, if you want to remember, you have to remember this one, 49587, which is actually the port number. The default port number for any SSH server is 22. But here, um, this is been provided because um, every time uh, some ports are always being used by mo internally, mobile internally. So, uh, I have used a random port number, I have used for 9587. Here are also some other configuration, enable shell, enable SFTV, you can also connect to SFTV server, um, secure file transfer protocol server from uh, other client to this by these apps okay secure copy set custom shell start command I'll not uh, go into this make it simple we have also some authorization timeout idle timeout maximum auth request okay so I'm ignoring these things only allow access for certain IPs no I'll not restrict any IPs right now private on new connection enable login start and boot Thing. and this the, this last one is important start server when connected to selected Wi-Fi network and start when disconnected uh, if you are using some Wi-Fi wi network to connect uh, your mobile device uh, and you want to restrict your SSH server to not to start until you connect to your own Wi-Fi network so you can provide your SSID of your Wi-Fi network to just restrict the SSH server to start for that Wi-Fi network and not for any other by open Wi-Fi network if your mobile gets automatically connected so this is all about and this is the user section user section also have uh, we have to create one user we have the user is uh, shown here the password is given and the another thing to remember but is document root so for document root uh, I have selected the root folder so that I can access all the documents from the root you can also provide a document root or initial directory as some your external SD card or SD card or any other uh, folder you like so if you do that you cannot migrate to app level uh, actually this uh, is given for uh, using use uh, given privilege to the uh, user who will use uh, this server okay you don't want to give the privilege of the root uh, you want to give them privilege only for some certain folders so you can save that for them for staying document root allow write access if you want check this you cannot write anything I mean you cannot create folder or uh, remove files from it uh, okay uh, I'm ignoring the rest of the things in my connection listen to in my program. allow create output connection and ignoring all that check default so I'm just ex exiting this Exiting, no, it's already set. I'll just start the server. The server is started. Now, what I will do, I'll just minimize this one and go to here. So, this is open SSH for Windows. Uh, you can download it from here, extract it, and uh, uh, copy it on your directory. This is the directory. See. Okay, this is the directory. It is uh, I've installed it in a D drive program files, uh, open SSH for Windows bin. Here are all the files. Uh, the main there are two files SSH and SSHD. 
SSHD for if you use this open SSH as a server and connect from uh, any other device and SSH is SSH client which I am been using right now. So it has been set in the environment variable you can access it from anywhere. So what is the parameter SSH user at the rate host name and if the default port is uh, 22 you don't need to provide anything else if it is anything other than 22 let's put hyphen p switch and the port number is 49587 so, so this is the parameter and i will use right now ssh subro you, you remember the username i think subro at the rate 192 i'll use the ip address okay let's see what is the ip address check once again where is the ssh server See, IP address is 192.168.0.102 and the port number is 49587. Connect it. See, uh, this is a, uh, I have connected multiple times before this. Uh, when, you come, when you will connect for the first time, it will you know whenever you connect to any SSH server for the first time it generates a key okay and it asks Windows whether you I, I trust this key whether it's, uh, this key is correct whether you are connected to a connecting to a trusted source so it will ask you for yes or no so if you you have to put yes there if you want to willing to connect and after that this password dialog will come so I will put the password here done so let us see what is the directory I have put document root as root folder so see this is a root folder uh, you can I can my uh, change directory to SD card PWD so it is SD card then external SD Okay, now you can in, in, in your external SD card you can create folder, you can copy files from one section to another and all that. So this is all about uh, your connecting SSH server from your SSH client, open windows for SSH. So and I will give you in, in my video page, I will give you the link uh, from where I have connected, I have uh, download the Office SSH for Windows and SSH server. This is a good server, you know this thing, iSchool Apps, you can use this one. So this is all about this video. Thank you very much.